clear the stage for our 2022 new items show. Let's start with the Hafo steam engines from the Deutsche Bundesbahn. Here we have the 065001 manufactured with scratches on it, while the 038382 comes straight out of the box all shiny in the spotlight. This is how the 065 looked in the prototype. The DB put 18 units into service between 1951 and 1956. They were also in service with freight, but mostly in passenger service. A typical car set is being released from Märklin and Drix. Here the 065001 is on the layout as a push-pull train, even though the prototype locomotive did not have push-pull control. The factory weathered model is largely made of metal. Maintenance-free LEDs provide the front lighting. The cars also receive authentic operating marks from the factory. Three-axle conversion cars were always used in pairs. The 038 could also be on the road with them, but silver cars fit just as well. For the Epoche 4 we have a Baureihe 38, and that is the... For Euro 4 we have a Class 38. It is the locomotive with the road number 038-382-8. It was based in Tübingen in the early 1970s and belonged to the Stuttgart Railway Directorate. Compared to the model presented two years ago, there are some design differences. The three light top signal, the Witte smoke deflectors, or the simple round roof cap. In addition, as often seen in Era 4, we have the inductive train control system on the right side, with its box on the cab side. The model also has a different smoke box door, a door without central locking. The license plate is centered here. The model has a built-in MFX Plus decoder with a lot of sound functions. All three axles are powered by a five-pole motor found in the boiler. The three-light headlight, fire flicker and cab lighting can be controlled digitally. The locomotive is ready for a smoke set. The contact is installed. It is conventional in operation and can be switched to digital. In 1974, it was time to say goodbye to the 038-382. Built in 1918, it also had to haul freight trains during its long working life. Today, the engine can be seen in the German Steam Locomotive Museum in Neuenmarkt, Wilsberg. After a stop, the 038 continues on, while the 065 is still waiting for passengers. The subsequently modified silver coins do well behind the beautiful 038. Thanks to a decoder installed in the cab car, the factory installed interior lighting can be switched digitally. However, this only works in conjunction with the cab car, which has other light and sound functions. A controlled high-efficiency drive with flywheel mass operates in the boiler. The standard smoke generator also works in conventional operation. Digitally, it can be switched. Please note that the models are still hand samples. A great passenger train with a remarkable locomotive. But there is another equally exciting engine being added to the Märklin and Trix Havo program. Für das Neuheidenjahr 2022 haben wir als Neukonstruktion die Güterzugdampflokomotive der Baureihe 52. For the new items in 2022, we have a new design of Class 52 freight steam locomotive with a beautiful tap tender. We have completely reissued the locomotive again according to current modeling criteria. That means that this will be a highly detailed model, largely made of metal and with a world of operation decoder. It 
It has digitally switchable cab lighting. A high-performance engine sits in the boiler, as is common with our steam locomotives. And we've made a point of keeping the wheel flanges very low on this locomotive. And the buffer height is up to standard. The German Reichsbahn built well over 6,000 units of this wartime locomotive starting in 1942. It was in service in many European countries. Around 250 of them were still in service with the Deutsche Bahn until the early 1960s. There will also be a model of this completely newly developed steam locomotive at Trix. Suitable cars can be found in the Märklin and Trix assortments. New railways have a certain kind of charm too. We bring a model of the Munich Nuremberg Express, as it was in operation in 2017 on the route between Munich and Nuremberg. This is firstly a four-car set. In this set, we have a newly designed control car. Compared to the IC control car that we introduced two years ago, this one has a different car body, which means a different window layout and a slightly different shape of the front end. All of the cars have LED interior lighting installed as standard, as well as life couplers. The cab control car has an MFX decoder that can be used to switch the three light headlights, cab lighting, interior lighting and the cab control car's life coupler. With this two-piece set, the train can be created in its prototypical length. The locomotive is largely made of metal. It has a five-pole motor driving all four axles, an MFX Plus decoder and cab lighting. This makes the whole theme well-rounded. From time to time, the train passed through the Altmühl Valley due to construction sites. As scheduled, however, it ran on its regular route, which took it from Ingolstadt on the new line to the Franconian metropolis. The cars for the Munich Nuremberg Express have a length scale of 1 to 93.5. The locomotive corresponds to the scale 1 to 87. A beautiful passenger train that is an excellent addition to the Märklin Era 6 assortment. The same goes for this neat express train. We are relaunching the IC2 as a train set this year. They are variations of existing cars. However, we have changed the train destination. The new train route is from Cologne to Dresden. The wagons are adapted to this train run in terms of documentation. That is, the locomotive and the five double-decker cars form a set that runs under a specific train number. And that's how we documented it. All of the cars have a length scale of 1 to 93.5. Just like the class 146 locomotive, they are offered separately and also appear on the Trix catalog. The locomotive has a decoder with extensive sound and light functions. These include various station announcements that change with the direction of travel of the locomotive. The hand samples already show the prototypical lettering in great detail. The cars have LED interior lighting on both levels that can only be controlled digitally with a decoder in conjunction with the cab control car. The Deutsche Bahn's IC2 connects major cities and metropolitan areas. The route of the IC2045, for example, runs from Cologne via Wuppertal and Hanover, Halle and Leipzig to Dresden. The exit is clear, and the light grey long-distance passenger train, which reflects the operating condition from 2020, accelerates quickly.
A controlled high-performance drive with flywheel mass operates on board the 146. All four axles are driven via cardan shafts. The IC2, a most charming modern passenger train. Wir spielen circa im Jahr 1912. The time is around 1912, when traveling was still something special. Not like in our fast-moving times today, when the train is simply a means of transport that we use without appreciating it. Things were different back then, when people rode in big steam locomotives and great parlor cars. Every train ride was a highlight. This is exactly the kind of wonderful feeling conveyed by this magnificent express train and its draft horse with the large driving wheels. It is an S3 sixth of the Royal Bavarian State Railways. The locomotive is equipped with everything you need today. We have installed an MFX Plus decoder with the World of Operation function. The wheels are beautiful to look at, very fine and detailed. And we put in a smoke set. There are extensive sound functions and light functions, and the locomotive has a standard buffer height in the front. We also have a very low wheel flange height, which again rounds out the entire thing. Largely made of metal, this skin shines with many details. A five-pole high-performance drive with flywheel mass installed in the boiler provides fine driving characteristics. In addition to the engine, five express train cars are also included in the train set. They are 1 to 87 scale and finely detailed. Their color scheme was a tricky task for the product managers because there are no color photos from that era. Und dann haben wir uns überlegt, wie hätte denn in dieser Zeit ein Zug auch plausibel aussehen können? We thought about what a train might have looked like in those days. That's how we came up with the cream green color scheme for the passenger cars and we were all excited about it. It is a fictional yet beautiful set that we have implemented. And it is a limited edition. Only 1,500 units from Macklin and 750 from Trix. They'll make a collector's heart leap for sure. This is the club model in half scale for the year 2022, class 06. The model is largely made of metal and has a completely replicated rodding despite streamlined cladding. The size of this model was a challenge for our designers. The locomotive is turning out really nice and we are also doing well with the matching car set with the newly designed functional tail lanterns. The beautifully shaped plastic lanterns on the end car immediately catch the eye. In each car, a buffer memory ensures that the unslightly flickering of the interior lighting is a thing of the past. A beautiful theme and beautiful models. I can recommend everyone to submit the order form to their dealer by February 28, 2022. This is the club model for Minitrix fans. The V200002, that is, one of the five pre-series locomotives and a very famous one at that. About the technical details, all four axles of this metal model are power-driven. It has an LED tip signal with light change three times white, twice red, plus many sound functions. In addition, it should be said that the casing is completely new. The front and the roof are clearly different, also the side panels, so a completely new casing. This is also worthwhile because of the contemporary history. And because this locomotive simply has a cult following. The prototype can be seen here with an F-train. 
This is also available from Minitrix as a current new item for 2022. The engine was kept in working order until 2006. After the fire at the Nuremberg Gostenhof depot, it was scrapped at the end of the same year. This is the club model for Z or Z gauge fans, the so called Zetties, the V320001, a completely new construction. Length over buffers 105 mm. A bell shaped armature motor drives both bogies. The running gear is made of metal, the superstructure of plastic. Engine room and cap lighting are among the other features. The Lona was mostly on the road in the Algoi region and proved its worth in front of long and heavy express trains as well as in freight service. A first rendering shows the massive engine in the crimson color scheme of ERA 3B. LGB club members will be offered SOEG's fancy passenger car as an exclusive model for 2022. In addition to an interior, the car shows the typical translating windows. The order deadline for all club models is February the 28th, 2022. Also es ist natürlich ein unbeschreibliches Gefühl, wenn das Krokodil sich It is an indescribable feeling when the crocodile starts in motion. You can see how the rod rotates from the driver's cap. It's a wonderful sight. Wunderbar zum sehen, ein Traum. We are in Erstfeld in the Swiss canton of Uri. This is where the north ramp of the classic Gotthard railway takes its start. It is also home to a unique machine, CE 6821453, a locomotive from the first construction series of this world-famous breed. The special thing about it is that the old lady, which is over 100 years old, is enjoying the best of health and is fully operational. It is an impressive moment when the 126-ton giant slowly starts to move. Very typical for this series are the triangular frames through which the motive power is transmitted to the second and third driving axles with coupling rods. Pascal is very gentle with the old lady and can often be found in the locomotive shed. His wife could almost become jealous. Ein wenig. <laughs> Ein wenig, aber so weiß immer, dass ich dann zurückkomme. A little bit. But she knows I'll be back. I can hide my love for the crocodile because when I come back from a visit with it, she can smell the oil on my clothes. Das Öl, wo an den Kleider kleben bleibt. The engine was even present at their wedding. Ja, das ist meine zweite it is my second love, next to my wife. <laughs> Macklin Insiders and Tricks Club members know the engine well, as it was part of several trips. According to this prototype, beautiful trains can be reproduced in the model. Perhaps also a photo freight train, possibly together with the mighty AE814. All that's really missing is a model of the magnificent crocodile, the sight of which is able to excite so many people in the prototype. There it is already, a new item at Märklin and Trix in the half O size. The hand sample reproduces the 14253 in great detail as a museum car from ERA 6. No less than two high-performance propulsion systems operate in this metal model. Even safety grids underneath the pantographs are reproduced. To the delight of many model railroaders, this quaint engine can soon become an eye-catcher on many a layout, where it can also travel in front of a special train.
The model has received sleeve buffers and Signum Integra magnets. A long-cherished wish of many friends of this legendary machine has come true with the replica of the Erstfelder 14253. Freight cars from different eras complete the assortment. Some roll from the hump into the directional tracks. And we are still talking about the 290. A new 40-foot high cube container rests on the six-axle container car. The ERR low-side car with a sliding tarp cover is suitable for block trains. The low-side car has insulated side walls. This set goes with the new class 52 steam engine and includes two short sliding roof cars. The sliding roof sliding wall car is a new design. Its roofs can also be opened. Volkswagen and Deutsche Bundesbahn developed containers that were loaded onto carrying cars. The car floor and containers are new developments. Operating condition around 1971. The 290-090 now comes as an ERA 4 model, with a new Telex coupler and a driver that turns in the direction of travel. The locomotive is also being released by Trix in the half-o size. Three sliding roof sliding wall cars of the Norwegian State Railways find themselves in this set. The car roofs can be slid open. All of the cars have different car numbers. Shape changes are shown on the 320-001. The throughs of the three open hopper cars are movable. They, along with the two red-brown cars, are an excellent match for the heavy class 320 diesel locomotive that was in construction train service for the Weber company. The model is largely made of metal. Two loudspeakers ensure optimal sound reproduction. The following applies to all of the cars. AC and DC enthusiasts can obtain the appropriate exchange wheel sets from their local dealer. There is digitally switchable cap lighting, and also the movable fan wheels can be switched separately in pairs. A great engine! There are crocodiles in Switzerland, and the AE361. The AE361, a completely newly constructed Swiss electric locomotive. As is customary, it is made largely of metal with very fine details. This includes a replica of the cabs and engine room. Of course, the Buchli drive is also reproduced in detail in the model. In the prototype, 114 examples were built and were in service until the 1990s. We have the locomotive from the time her in the 50er years gesetz. We have set the locomotive in the 1950s in terms of time. There is a matching light steel car set, five pieces for the route from Geneva to Zurich. The train was on the flat. The set also includes a nice Buffett car, a molded variation. We never had it like this before. The cars are all equipped with interior lighting. The AE36 and car set are also coming to Trix. A highlight rolls in at Macklin and Trix. This is a ganz this is a very special train that is now on the rails in Switzerland. It is one of the most modern that the Swiss Federal Railways currently have in service. The RABE 501, electric articulated train, better known as Girono. The train has cab lighting and driver's desk lighting. We have equipped the whole train with LED interior lighting. And there are a total of four pantographs that can be raised and lowered digitally. The project was divided into a basic set, five-piece and three two-piece supplementary sets. The car crossovers on the Jacobs bogies allow us to get a very tight look. The cars are relatively short, so there are no large overhangs here. I think this is going to be a great train. Auch hier keine großen Überhänge hat und ich denke, das wird wirklich ein ganz toller Zug werden. Wir werden den Chiruno 
We are going to recreate the Girono to scale L1 to 87, which allows us to do the prototype. It is relatively short with all 11 units. So we will have a train in the model that will be about 2.30 meters long. A pretty RE421 pair is also rolling in at Märklin. There is a private railroad that has wrapped two of these locomotives in a very attractive color scheme, somewhat based on the TEE and Rheingold color scheme. One locomotive has the wine red beige colors and the other has the Rheingold blue and beige. Both locomotives look amazing as a set. Please note that these are still hand samples. Thus, the handlebars on the locomotive fronts will be altered. International models have a tradition at Märklin and Trix. We look first to Austria. This locomotive has its roots in Germany, since it goes back to the good old E94, several of which remained in Austria after World War II, and were run there as class 1020 from 1953. With the number 27, a new development has entered the program. Matching cars of different designs can be found in this set of three. With this, the very delicate metal model is now on the rails. Two axles are powered in each bogey. An MFX Plus decoder provides extensive sound functions and switchable cab lights. The RC6 from Sweden is a completely new design. Chassis and superstructure are largely made of metal. A controlled high-efficiency propulsion runs on all four axles. Numerous different light signals are digitally switchable. The finely detailed roof garden is a feast for the eyes. The model in black paint scheme is shown in 2010 operating condition and also appears at Trix. These four express train cars go with the RC6. They have a guided coupler pocket. Matching DC wheel sets are available. This year we will delight our friends in the Netherlands with a new design. We will completely reissue the 1600 and 1700 series as a product family. We will start with a locomotive from the 1700 series as it was and partly still is in passenger service. The locomotive is a complete new construction, finely detailed, all metal, with many applied details. It has a centrally mounted motor, which means all four axles are powered. There is cab lighting and extensive sound functions. Of course, we will take the sound from a prototype locomotive. And we have built in something that always delights me and our customers. Digitally liftable and lowerable pantographs. To ensure that the locomotive is not traveling alone, it is joined by three bi-level cars in various designs. Also included, a cab control car that has a direction-dependent light change from the three light headlights to two red taillights. The Vectron is now also at home in the Netherlands. A model with the number 193733 will be newly added to the assortment at Märklin and Trix. The hand pattern shows yet another sequence number. We travel on to Bella Italia. From the series of Märklin classics of the 1960s, an express train with the E424 comes into the program. The model now has an MFX decoder. In the prototype, the machines were found throughout Italy, so it's no wonder that nearly 160s copies were built. It is hard to believe, but it is going to turn 50, 50 years old. Call it old or young, whichever you like. On this special occasion, a very special treat has been added to the assortment. Krokodil in Platin beschichtet. This is a crocodile plated with platinum. We have specially expanded our electroplating shop to be able to coat with platinum. The locomotive will be issued only in 2022. 
A bell-shaped armature motor provides good operating features. Both bogies are powered. The model from the Maglin Z or Z Investment Casting Edition is delivered in a fine wooden package. Let's stay in Switzerland for the time being. A completely new design rolls into the program with the RE66. The prototype is on the road with heavy freight trains. The model is also very powerful thanks to a bell-shaped armature motor. The 162 is a variation. The housing is made of metal-filled plastic, under which a bell-shaped armature motor operates. The prototype is in service with freight trains in many regions of Germany. In addition to mixed freight, there are often long tank car trains to haul. In the USA, the tiniest has many fans who will be pleased with Union Pacific's Alco PA. A heavy-duty motor drives two axles in each bogey. In freight cars, the G10 is now also made with an economy brakeman's cab. One of the most famous museum locomotives is the 01519. It will be completely redesigned and will reflect the high standard of the Mini Club steam locomotives with a bell-shaped armature motor and a metal housing. The top class has come up with a highlight. The top story is the S26 and it comes in five versions. The museum machine, the green era one version of the Royal Bavarian State Railways, that of the Bavarian Group Administration, that of the Palatinate Railroad and the black and red era two version of the DRG. The replica of the tender coal is in a rubber insert that is timed to go down and up through a particular function. And we have a moving stoker figure, timed to the sequence of the firebox door opening. And with the LED firebox lighting, we replicate the coal feed. We have installed a power buffer. There are 31 functions, including many switchable light functions such as the cab lighting, the train meeting light, the red tail light and of course various sound functions. Among other things, this tells the story of the locomotive which set a world record of traveling at a speed of 154 km per hour in 1907. Unfortunately, only one unit was built, which was retired by the Reichsbahn in 1925. It is all the more gratifying that the S26 is now in the Transportion Museum in Nuremberg. The 103237 is coming. We now make it correctly in the long version and for the first time with switchable pantographs that go up and down as if by magic. The casing is made of metal-filled plastic. Because we know the most important thing in the small gauges is the weight for traction to be able to pull prototypically long trains. And in addition, the famous bi-level dining car from IK Verlag. And, as another highlight, the car set with the two Mitteltourgau Panorama cars. With these, we have also taken into account the different window pitch of the dome as well as the Swiss clearance gauge, which means that we have lowered the dome, which has not yet been considered for the hand sample of the two cars of the special TEE. On the long 103, thanks to the built-in decoder that allows operation with MFX and DCC, cab lighting can be activated, among other things. Also in the neat TEE color scheme is 114502. The two car sets are also a perfect match for this locomotive. And now we'll start up the diesel engine. Yes, the class 212 is always a popular choice, this time in the ocean blue ivory color scheme, with sound, zinc die-cast casing, the way you know the engine. It appears as a one-time addition for the Maglin dealer initiative. These four compressed gas tank cars go with it. Continuing now with electric. 
It comes in two versions, once in the hobby program as a class 120 with a local transport package. Although the 120 had to say goodbye to the DBAG, it can be found again in many a private railroad company. And so we also offer a great starter pack with the 120 of the Wittmar rail services in a nice shade of blue, which is mainly used in front of tank car trains. Therefore, we have packed three two-axle tank cars and for the first time the infrared controller power control stick with which you can increase or decrease the speed forward or backward. The Nördlingen Museum locomotive 01066 is popular and can often be seen with the makeshift MDYG baggage car. It was built in 1928 and later joined the Deutsche Reichsbahn of the GDR. So far, M railroaders have searched for it in vain. Of course, there is still a very important one missing. It is the 01066. You can also say the last 01 with big ears and with the lettering 01066 in brass color. We think that's how most people prefer this engine to be. We also offer a matching car set, which will also include the newly constructed MDYG. The digital model delights with an engine light and many operating sounds. In addition, the cab lighting, the headlights and also the firebox flickering can be switched on and off. Private railroads always have to help out with their vehicles in regional traffic. So does the Gesellschaft für Fahrzeugtechnik. In the design of this company come three cars in the current operating condition. The 110 459 with its streamlined front is a good match. All four axles are powered. The cab control car has a 14-pin interface and, like all cars, can be retrofitted with interior lighting. Thanks to the light change on the cab car, the set can then also be run as a prototypical push-pull train. An interesting train for ERA 6. A class 218 diesel locomotive always delights. New at Minitrix is the blue 218 054 from Press. The hand sample reflects the condition as of December 2020. The locomotive is on the road all over Germany, sometimes with freight cars that also want to be shunted. In the original, the 218s of Press are usually found with IC trains, even in the Allgäu. The 102 mm long model gets a new roof design to correctly fit the TB11 engine that is installed on the prototype, which can be seen on the hoods on the roof. A motor with flywheel mass drives all four axles. The engine can be operated with MFX and PCC. A cab light can be switched on and off digitally. The locomotive is a nice splash of color on any ERA 6 layout. Please note that all models shown here are still hand samples. It's time for something a little unusual. First of all, there is the Fairly, which is 120 years old. It was delivered in 1902. This locomotive still exists, it is in the shed in Oberheinsdorf. There will be a clad and an unclad version of ERA 3. A high-end model, completely made of metal, with everything you could wish for. Looking for the details, we first go to the driver's cab. The flaps located on the bogies can be opened. Two high-performance engines power the vehicle. The driving noise can also be heard in analog operation. The model reproduces the original as it was in service in the 1950s and 60s. A colorful locomotive appears at the RHB. 
die wird selbstverständlich bei uns als Modell auch gezeigt. Of course, we will also present them as a model, as a high-end model, just like the brown and the blue. High-end means that everything is made of metal, which adds up to several kilograms of locomotive. We have two powerful engines, digitally controllable couplers, pantograph drives, many switchable lighting options, the original sound of the crocodile, doors and windows to open, everything is there. An unusual sight, but very charming. Let's take a detour to the north. Let's go to northern Germany to the Harz Mountains. Here we have the T3 railcar, which was delivered in the 1930s. It still exists today, unfortunately not operational. Actually, it is a diesel locomotive without passenger compartments. It runs as a baggage railcar, but can pull cars. A completely new construction in plastic, like the GE44 or the Harzbulle. At the RHB in the beautiful Grisens area, the GE442 started operations in 1973. A total of 23 units were delivered. Some already retired, but still the services of the multiple rebuilt machines cannot be dispensed with. The model now appears for the first time in red livery with rear view mirrors and antenna. The driving sound is also functional in analog operation. All four wheel sets are driven by two Bühler motors. Thanks to an MFX DCC decoder, many light and sound functions can be activated. The pantographs are motor driven and can also be controlled digitally. The ABE30 can still be found on the Bernina line today. The new LGB model is in bright yellow as a museum vehicle on the road. An interior is reproduced and has, just like the driver's cab, digitally switchable lighting. These cars go well with the ABE30. First there is the C114 bar car. It too has a fully reproduced interior. The observation cars are very popular also with the prototype. This one is also completely furnished. Finally, we are joined by a boxcar of the type that is often used to transport bicycles on special trains. The doors of the wagon can be opened. We wish all garden railroaders a lot of fun with the new models. These were exciting new products from the brands Märklin, Trix and LGB. But that's not all. Why don't you continue on your voyage of discovery by visiting the corresponding websites with more info and also the current downloadable novelty brochures? Have fun!